This is Raptor News. And I stated in videos before that I came from a long line of priest, priesthood, preachers. And my mother broke that off. She broke that off because she was like, how can Jesus be God? You know, and then she went to try to learn the truth on her own. And then that got um, <clears throat> passed over to myself, in which I picked up the Bible and the Torah for myself. I didn't go to a church. You know, I didn't have no preacher. I didn't have nobody preaching the message to me. I read the book for myself, and then I was unbiased. Have I been in churches? Yes, I've been in plenty of churches. You know, um, have I ever belonged to a church? No, just passing through. Some churches I went there to rebut their teachings. So right in the church, I just went right in their church and said, you preaching falsehood. You know, you lying. I have um, debated people in their houses and the same thing, you're lying, you're preaching falsehood. And I've been doing this for a good while now. Uh, my history is this. Every single day for 20 years, I've been preaching for hours every single day without let. Every single day, I study new topics in the books. You know, I, at my house itself, had to go through a transformation meaning that we fought like cats and dogs it was arguments everybody was so stressed out over religion because the books were infiltrated and we had to get to the truth and it, it took and I'm not even lying I've, I've been doing this for longer than 20 years but it took 20 years to get my family calmed down and and under one truth and that's the absolute truth, you know, that we only worship one God and we, we serve him and, and nothing else will do. You know, we're not giving all praises to Yahweh Shai. We're giving all praises to the Most High, you know, and basically we live by the will of God. We're not following Paul. We ain't following Luke. We ain't following John. We ain't following none of them unless is God said it and it shall be done and then our house then became peace my mother called me today my hand before God and said you know when I call your house it's um it's quiet how can that many people be there and your house is so quiet because we already been through the bumps and the bruises and all the hell you know my kids have became adults so they went through a, a, it's like when you're working out, when you first start, you know, it's going to be holy hell, lifting weights and getting used to all of that. And you're going to strain and struggle, you know, it's like going to a new place and meeting new people. It, it, it ain't going to be easy, you know, you got to fit in and everybody got to know their place. It's just like if you add chickens to a chicken a new chickens to a chicken coop they just not going to carry on they about their business no they're going to fight every single day for months until they establish an order of who's in charge and who ain't and so our house had to be in order my wife had to get checked over and over and over and over you are not in charge you are not given any rules you can give your opinion you can give your advice but you are not regulating and running shit. And I have to say it just like that. You got to know your place. Everybody got a role. I have a role to provide. I have a role to clothe you. I have a, ro a role to feed you. I have a role to put a house over your head. I have a role as man, as spiritual leader. And you are not going to intercede in any of that. You have a role of nurturing. You have a role of mother. You have a role of this and that. And that is it's like I told Lex Will. Stay in your lane. My kids, you are not going to disrespect me. You ain't going to speak to me rudely. You ain't going to be chaotic. 
you ain't going to be emotional. You have to go by the book. God Most High never told us to be emotional. That is from the devil. When you look at the, the fruits of the spirit, emotions are not there. That's a satanic thing. Crying is not there. That's a satanic thing. Unless you're crying out of grief for a good person that probably died or met it some type of way. And um, I'm, I'm glad the summer is over because the allergies and everything else is just going to go away where I can speak normally. I breathe out of my nose, but when it's hard to breathe out of my mouth because I'm so used to breathing out of my nose. And so when my nose gets stopped up, then I have to breathe out of my mouth and it's just uncomfortable to me. And so you'll just catch me. I'm not talking or, or breathing right because I'm just not used to it. I've been breathing out of my nose my whole life. Anyway, um, it's the process of eliminating, elimination. Um, so I had to get my family in order. And that, that's what the book says. If a man cannot get his house in order, how are you going to get the house of God in order? You got Lex Will. You got a wife, wh white wife. Your family is out of order because God told you to stay away from the Gentiles in that way. God told you to do not... He, he said, set yourself apart. When you when he say flee Babylon, it is Hebrews fleeing Gentiles. I'll say it again. When God say flee Babylon, it is Hebrews fleeing away from Gentiles. And then uh, a brother uh, said something today. He mad at Rap the News for what God said. And I'm going to say that again. He mad at Rap the News for what God said. God said... Uh, no interracial marriages, no mixed breeds in the in the con uh, the um, congregation. They got to get the fuck out, and then all the mixed breeds and the mixed multitudes was kicked out of Israel. You know, God wanted a pure bloodline, and so um, the mixed breeds are called defiled, abominable, and all that. They call they call bastards, and I didn't write. I didn't go back in the Bible and put that in so I can call you a bastard today. You, you can't hate on what God decrees. You ain't going to get past God. All you're going to do is get mad and go to hell. You can't, you can't with your anger and your emotions and your silly little words get past the decrees of God. So the brother says um, to me, uh, you hate mixed people and so I'm, you ain't my brother no more. And you hate this and you hate that and, and you, you, you own this, but you like the white man, so you cool with James Sinky and blah 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 blah. And I'm I'm this is who I'm cool with. If you say I worship the most high God alone and I associate no, nothing with him, no partners, no gods, no nothing with him, I'm good with you. If you're trying to add yourself, if you're trying to add your arrogancy, your pride, uh, Jesus Christ, all these other gods and entities to, to God and, 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 and all praises are due to him. And you're trying to get praise for yourself. You're trying to be worthy yourself. You out of there. We, we going to have beef. It is not your skin color with me. It ain't because you're light and I'm darker. Or you're white and I, I, I'm preferring whites over blacks or blacks over whites. That's some bullshit. I'm an equal opportunist. So if you look at my debates, I have knocked white people off and I have knocked black people off uh, equally. And if a Chinaman come, I'll knock him off. You know, back to China with you. And so um, uh, all that what you're talking is blasphemy. Your problem is you're mad at God for his decrees and rules and laws. And then the laws are going to be enforced by God. So either you learn to do the laws, we learn what the truth is, and we all get along in harmony, just like my, my family had to learn how to do. And that's why it's quiet over here. It's only going to be peace when you make it. And the peace have to come from God by the book. You know, we all have to live in harmony by the book. Everybody got to know their role. And everybody's role is important. You know, I'm, I'm the most important because I'm the man. And if everybody leaves, then how am I the man? You know what I mean? I, then I just be lonely. That's stupid. So everybody have to be appreciated. Everybody got to be loved. 
we have to be kind to each other. I I'm going to say when me and my wife start getting along good is when I told her I wasn't judging her no more. I'm not judging you. I I I'm not looking at you like a low life because this happened to you and that happened to you in your life. Or you ain't doing this or you ain't doing that. Or you ain't working so I look down upon you. I, I had to stop that bullshit. You know, I'm not going to look down upon anybody. I'm going to give you an opportunity by saying, Hey brother and sister, here's the truth. Come up to my level. Come up to my level because I know I'm on this level right here. And I'm inviting everybody to come up to my level. The brother also says, why don't you show your face, blah, 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 blah. A lot of them people that want to show your face, they egotistical. It's pride. What do my face have to do with the word of God? Nothing. Oh, you're hiding. No, you're y'all crazy. So watch this. What happened to our prophets? They got slayed, right? Yeah, exactly. By these radicals, right? Yeah, because you're preaching something other than what they used to hear in these people are used to hearing lies and so you're preaching the truth automatically since you're preaching the truth and they never heard it before they're gonna call you a liar automatically you know they ain't gonna accept the true doctrine even if like we learn it even if it's in the book they ignore the truth in the book so uh, recently I got on uh, Will Lex and uh, basically uh, he was talking about the dietary laws and shit like that. Were there di dietary laws when God created Adam and Eve in the um, garden? No, huh? And so, why, why dietary laws? It's a fucking curse. When you ain't cursed, it, it, it ain't no dietary laws. I'm going to say it again. When you ain't cursed, it ain't no dietary laws. It's dietary laws when you accursed fucking people. Why would God create all of these animals for you to eat and then tell you you can't eat the ones with hooves and you can't eat the ones with that. You can't eat these ones and that one and you have to, you can't eat the swine, you can't. Because you cursed, that's why. And so watch this. An another example. Okay. So all of the Nephilim and all the evil people was destroyed off of the earth in the flood with Noah. And then when Noah got off the ship, God told him straight up, you and those people on the ship, if, if it moves, eat it. If it moves, whether it's pork, whether it's this or whether it's that, eat it. Whether it's a rat, because they hate that. And so these people like um, Will Lex, they stuck. They've been preaching an old tired ass message. And they don't want to hear uh, what the spirit is bringing down from a higher realm they want to be stuck in this humanly cursed shit and I ain't stuck there with them and so watch most of y'all haven't even heard that huh and then the other verse where it says basically eat everything that you lust after we never heard anything like that and, and, you, and, and these people claim to study the book but they don't know what's in it and then they claim like they know what's in it and you don't know what's in it. See? And then to their surprise, you blow them out of the water with their doctrine and they was being all cocky and prideful. And then guess what? Their face get taken, smashed in the ground, huh? And they drop down to the lowest of the low, huh? That's what happens when you stupid and you think you know some shit and you just don't. And then where the spirit is helping, you know why the spirit is helping? I'm going to show you how this works when you put out the absolute truth then it is a balance system as a man sold the absolute truth he will reap the absolute truth if you're sitting there lying to the people because you ignorant following the lying ass pastors from the past calling yourself Hebrews and all these new things and shit trying to act like you some speaking this fake ass paleo language who exposed that language rap the news a lot of things that y'all learning, y'all learning from right here. Y'all can go take them to other places. Who cares? The, the, it's for you to do that. You know. But we are changing as a people because the spirit is working right here. And I say it again. The spirit is working right here. And so you, you learn that 
the, if you ain't a cursed people, the dietary laws don't apply to you. They didn't apply to Adam and Eve. God don't change. It is a punishment, assholes. They, they don't even know. You know, well, Elias was taken up. Why? Because he acted aright. His, his behavior wasn't the norm of the people. And once he didn't even act like the people on earth anymore, God just took him up. You don't belong on this raggedy ass earth with these raggedy ass people who can't hear. And that's why God keeps saying, hear, O Israel. And you hard headed motherfuckers who, with, with dirt in y'all ears, y'all can't hear. And so, I'm going to say it again. This process of us arguing and fighting and going back and forth, it is a process that's necessary. It's weeding out the weak, lying ass motherfuckers. And you're going to see, I ain't finna fall. Even if it looked like I fell down, God will make God will elevate me and put me back where I was or higher. Because they're not going to win through. Because evil cannot win over good. I say that again. Evil will never win over good. Good will triumph. And so truth is always going to avail over falsehood. Will Lex can never beat me in a debate or an argument, and neither can the rest of them, because they liars. You know, and to the pit with the hypocrites, they all going to hell. Strap the nose.